Hey, peeps, how are we doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome back. Welcome back to Mission 500. Today, we're going to look at a move beginning with C. I'm trying to think which way around the C will be for you looking at this. <laughs> How are we doing? So we're going to have a look at Cradle today. We're going to have a look at Cradle. So as part of this mission, you know that you're going to have access to the uh, A to Z Pole Tricks Library, which has got 500 plus tricks on it. So if you want to get involved, make sure that you click the link that you should see somewhere in either above, below this video, or in my bio if you're on Instagram, alrighty? Uh, welcome to Brittany, she is on the board. Uh, so everybody who joins us goes on the board. So that middle column is for October. So you only have 26 days left to join this offer. So each month there's a different membership offer and you just have that month to join and then you can stay as long as you want. Um, so if you want that one, if you want those 500 trips to get stuck in straight away, make sure you come join that one. Massive welcome to everyone who I've spoken to for, um, you know, this month already, considering what was it, fifth today, um, whose books are cool. So if you're like, I don't know what I need, I don't know... Uh, if you have what I need to progress, book a call. I will have a chat with you. So, for example, like uh, so, so Terrell, um, literally, what was it a few days ago? And the program's a good fit for her. So, she's come and joined us. And then I spoke to Cassidy yesterday, who the program was not a good fit for. And I will tell you that. And I would advise you of where to go. So, it doesn't really matter if you're struggling and you're like, oh, what, what, what can I, who can help me? I'll, I'll, let's, let's have a chat. Let's find out. Let's see exactly what you're, you're needing, okay? So C today is for Cradle. That's what we're gonna cover, the Poultrix Day on Cradle. Now, if you go onto the A to Z uh, Poultrix Library, you will see there's a load of list of moves under C. So, but we've chosen randomly Cradle. Cradle's a great move, actually, pretty much for all levels, because you kind of start in like a tuck position. Um, and obviously we're going sideways. You can do this statically, you can do the spin, you expand it, you can take one hand off, you can take both hands off. Loads of different things you can do with this move, and I love it. So let's get stuck in with what Cradle is. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the pole on spin, because I typically do a Cradle on spinning pole. Um, but you can also do, I would also teach this, I do teach it, in my structured lessons to do it as a static pole as well, or a static move, should I say, to help you prep and understand like where, where your body's gonna go. Um, so we will come in both. So I'll show you what it looks like. Let me put the pole on the spin, let's take this off. Okay, uh, so for you guys know, if you haven't been following for a little while, this is a silicone pole. Does it be warm up nice and quickly? You can grip in close, that's why I love it. Okay, so this is what a cradle looks like. Okay, that is oh cradle spin. Let me just move my Instagrammers over a little bit. Good morning from Greece. Hey, how you doing? Hang on, I just want to make sure that you're centered there. There we are. Cool. Okay, I've had two things to make sure I can go onto each platform. Anyway, so that is cradle spin. Okay, so I'm going to put the pole back on static. I'm going to show you how where our body is going. Um, and you can also do a crazy little lucky note and invert them as well, okay? I'll show you that in a minute. So working on that tilt, okay? A lot of people stay too upright. So let's go through how to how I would teach it and then go through some common mistakes. So how I would teach it. So I would say stand next to the pole with your inside hand, so anything that's closest to the pole is your inside hand, I'm going to slide that hand down, okay? And all I'm going to do is I'm going to lean over the pole. I'm going to lift the inside leg up, and I'm also turning that knee down towards the pole. So it's down towards the floor, should I say, okay? So the ankle goes up, knee goes down, yeah? I'm getting quite close to my hip here, because what I'm going to do is I want to tuck the pole, and as I bring my knees up, I'm pulling the thighs, and I'm squeezing the pole into my tummy, so if you think about it, we want to be across here. So we have to go over, yeah? So I'm going to bring the knee up, slide the hand down, keep going, keep going, keep going, and I can't go any further without lifting this leg. So this outside hand, at a round face level, I'm going to actually pull the pole away, okay? So I'm going to use my biceps to do that. And as I do, I'm going to tuck my outside knee up, and I'm also going to take it over, okay? So I'm going to really exaggerate this move. So you can here. Knee up, knee over, squeeze. Yeah? Pull back up, lower back down. 
So that's the position you want to get into. And you really want to be able to feel that grip in your tummy. So uh, unless you're using a grip with cold, it's best to just take the top off, expose that tummy, get that tummy grip on that pole. Okay. The more we can squeeze the knees towards our face, the more we're going to get ourselves gripped. Okay. So we're going to grip here and grip against our thighs. We're going to be super, super tight. Okay. If you are too upright, you need to bring that inside hand low, which is sort of a common second C. So I see a lot of this, I see a lot of starting, which is great, and then we get, I can't get over, okay? So you've got to slide this bottom hand down and use this top hand to pull over, okay? Slide it down further. What you do want to do is have this hand on by your hip. Can you see my shoulders crunch up? So you want to make sure that hand's sliding down as you maneuver down, okay? Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Let me see if you've got any questions so far. I don't know who's here. Okay. Hey, Diane. How you doing? It's nice to have you here. Hey, Nick. Hey, who else we got? Paulina. Awesome. Just seeing who else is here. Cool. Excellent. Does this make sense so far? Okay. So get in that tuck. So do it statically. I definitely recommend doing it statically. To start with, to understand where your body's got to go. And make sure you've got the strength. Some people just like hope for the best and do it straight into spin. But if you're just going to the spin, sometimes you just feel like I'm never going to get it. Um, so we can do it on spin, doing it this way so we, like, we move forward. Okay. So we start that spin. Okay. So if I put the pole on spin now. So to get used to the movement, so we can step forward to the outside, tuck in the inside, and then push to the outside. So from here, hands in the exact same position, I'm already starting to lean over. As I lean forward, I bring my inside knee up, and then I'm going to push off the pole, sorry, off the floor, to tuck and slide that bottom hand down. Squeeze the those knees towards my face. Okay? Now, once you get that, we can give more momentum to make it spin faster, where we sweep the outside leg, okay? So to sweep the outside leg, we need to step with the inside leg first. So this time, we'll just swap the legs around. So once you've got it, you're like, yes, I understand the position. Then we're like, right, now we can start sweeping. Now we can create more momentum, okay? So this time, still gonna have the hands in the same position. So to start with, I'm not right. So I'm going to step with my inside foot rather than bring it up. And I'm going to sweep with my outside leg. As I sweep with my outside leg, you have to slide this inside hand low. Okay? As you're going to be upright. All right? So we're going to step, big circle with this leg. And then as I bring myself down, I'm going to get in the pole across my tummy. And then I'm going to tuck this knee in. And the inside leg can follow. Okay? Does this make sense? So step, big circle, tuck in. Squeeze, 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 heels towards your back, knees towards your face. Slide that bottom hand down further if you need to. This is why I always think video of yourself can be really important because you can actually see your alignment, like how parallel how are you to the ground? Is that bottom hand up? So always record yourself. I know when I, when I first recorded myself, as a beginner, it was really awkward. I don't want to watch myself back. That was awful. But to be honest, it's the best thing you can do to help your, yourself progress. Because you'll start to watch the video and go, oh crap, I can actually just move the hand there. And then you'll do it again, and you'll do it again. And then every time you watch it, you'll make improvements. So in one way, it's a really great motivator uh, to encourage you to practice more. And so I would, if you are just somebody that just um, takes pictures right now, okay, I would encourage to change your practice to video yourself because you can see how to get in and how to get out. And I talk about this a lot because it definitely can, can make a huge difference. So while I think I just need to get into that tuck to get a picture and pull out of it, let's work on how to get into it and out of it in a video and start posting your videos. Secondly, that's also going to help you remember how to get into moves because there's so many of you that will say, oh, I've done this move in class and I can't remember how to get, I've got a picture, I can't remember how to get into it. You videoed yourself, boom. You can remember, it's there. You can, you know, or your memory is, yes, okay, now I can remember what's it. Yeah, makes sense? Cool, okay. Once you have that, you can really focus on extending your top hand off, for example. So we may, must make sure we've got as much tummy grip as possible, okay? The more you squeeze, the more grip you have. It is actually quite a grip move as long as we're squeezing those knees in. If we're not squeezing those knees in enough and we're sort of really relying on maybe thigh grip or something, uh, you're going to probably slide and you're not going to be able to hold it. 
You're also not going to be able to hold it to release the top hand if you're not low enough. So that inside bracket hand has to be low enough so you curl out so you can take that top hand off, okay? If the more we're tilted and the more we're squeezing, we're telling you we don't need that top hand. We need it initially to pull us out, but once we're over, we're there, right? So show you what I mean by that. So, into our tuck, squeeze, 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 slide that bottom hand down, slowly start to take the top hand off, and then you can take that top hand over your head. Okay, right back on. Always pull up, so slide the hand down, see if you can bring yourself into this tuck position before you land. Yeah? Rather than just fall out of it, always think about your dismounts because that is how you're going to get stronger. Cool. Are we happy with that? Um, so the other one you can practice as well is uh, tucking, tuck and tilt. Not tuck tilt the invert, uh, but I mean for like a, a, in your invert grip position. So you can still tilt in the still they're really work for your feet muscles, your side tummy muscles, lifting the hip up. So what I mean by this is this one. Okay, so rather than having your hands inside hand into a bracket grip, you can have your hand on top. And I like to use my forearm. I like to use my forearms a lot. So from here. I'm going to, be, instead of like, well, I'm still using my top hand to pull away, but I'm also going to use that forearm to push myself over as well, okay? So this one was helping me in a bracket grip, but as I'm taking that bracket grip away, I'm in this forearm grip. Now, this is also going to help you. So there's pros and cons to, well, there's actually no cons. I don't think there's any cons. Uh, I think it's just pros to doing both, because this position will also help you with, uh, with moves, like the meat hook can you know that's quite an advanced move. Uh, but you can also practice it from this tuck. So we can go over into the tuck and then we can even go lower, okay? So it's always something you can expand on, right? So let's go again and then we're going to go even further. So we'll go into the advanced move, right? So I'm going to go into the tuck. We're going to tilt over, okay? Then I'm going to pike my legs down and then I'm going to see if I can take my top hand off, okay? So you can advance on that. Now, a lot of times you can do that up the pole from an invert, but you can also practice it in the floor. So you can see how both can be beneficial to learning because there's so many moves that come after both, yeah? Combos, transitions, variations, make it harder, hands off. You can do both hands off. Also, look at this, yeah? So one of the best ways to work on um, either tucking with both hands in that invert grip or bracket grip is to start with your tuck. So hopefully, if you are new, if you're somebody who's, well, anybody really, hopefully you'll know what tuck is, okay? Tuck's gonna help prep you for inverting, but it also helps you for a lot of other moves that really works on your core. So we are going to work on this position with your hands in your invert grip, tucking the pelvis under, okay? That's gonna help you engage the core, pulling the pole down. So you're gonna firstly just start off with one knee up, pull down, then pull down. Start to bend the other leg and then see if you can get that toe off the ground. If you can get it off the longer, see if you can lift the knees up, okay? So that's your tuck. If you've never done it before, that's what you're gonna start with. And like I said, you may be here for a little while, just bending, bending, because you're gonna feel the grip that you need with your arms. Also make sure your side is exposed, okay? As a reminder, I'm using silicone pole, it is gripping. You're not gonna get that grip on a standard Hole, okay, or any other finished hole really, you might have a wrap or something, but any other sand of hole, you're going to need some skin grip. You may also need to warm your pole up to get it nice and tacky. So once you've got the uh, tuck, you can also work on tucking that bracket grip. So same thing, but we're just going straight up to practice, okay? So hand down that bracket, index finger down, outside hand face tight. We can bring one knee up, start to bend, push, push, push. Let's bring the other one. Bring the other one, okay? Makes sense, you can see how you can sort of work towards it. Once you've got that tuck up, we can practice using the biceps to pull ourselves over. So from here, up, pull, up, right, pull, up, right, pull. Yeah, so there's lots of conditioning that you can do to help build your strength. Cool, okay, so I'm trying to notice this, so hopefully this helps you in getting your cradle. I hope so. Um, and there's so many, like, loads of, blah, 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 blah. so many moves you can do from it. So many moves you can get into it from another move. Uh, 
Definitely, definitely learn Cradle. It's a great move. Can be pinchy on the tummy, okay? When I first started, I was like, oh, maybe feel sick. <laughs> Especially if you start doing no-handed cradles. Uh, but, you know, there is a lot that you can do. Oh, thank you, Elsa. I'm glad that helps. Awesome. All right, my lovelies. Right. Hopefully you have a fantastic day. Come and join us on that membership if it's working for you. If you haven't got a clue, if you need some more structure, need a plan, book a call with me, okay? Or just send me a message and I'll send you some details. Um, we're pretty open here. So yeah, we'll get you, we'll get you sorted. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Have a fantastic day. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. D. <laughs> Sounds rude. Ah, see you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>